Just beat the shit out of it, I did. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today, guess what? I might talk about a golf cart again. Maybe, maybe not. I did get another part for the golf cart. I know, this thing is just getting spoiled to death. But this is needed. I got myself one of them voltage step downs that goes from 36 volt or 48 volt to 12 volt for the stereo. Because as you know, I don't have my batteries hooked up correctly because this is a 36 volt system with just jumpers off for the 12 volt. And I need this battery for decent because decent needs new battery. And I don't really need four batteries in here. And it'll save me some weight. Did you get that? I hope so, because I did. So what we need to do is we need to mount this thing in here somewhere to run all my 12 volt accessories. And by the looks of it, there's not too many places to mount it, Captain. Why is there so much dirt in there already? What is really going on? I'm gonna put somewhere where it's not gonna rattle. Down there is not a bad spot. But you can't screw it to that because, yeah, you just can't. Where the hell are we gonna put this, Captain? Most need another piece of steel or something to mount it to. Oh, dick. What happened? <sighs> Can you see any ideas? Cause I can't. Unless I drill a couple holes, put a couple little nuts and bolts in it and put it right there. I really don't want to put nuts and bolts through my cart, but I don't know, man. It's gotta be mounted. Careful. But we're gonna need some wire extenders. We can always just mount it to a battery, I guess. Two way tape it or something. But we're gonna need some wire and some wire. Well, let's get everything hooked here anyways, and then we'll go from there. Well, that's tight. Not. Loosen, loosen, loosen. Take off the old jumper rooskies. There we go. There we go. There's all 12 volt accessories. Take this off. There we go. One thing good about taking another battery out of this thing too is it will actually free up some weight. Then it won't weigh so much, if you know what I'm saying. Because right now this thing is heavy. So pull off this battery. There we go. And now we can slide all these batteries this way a little bit. Center them up. There we go. Actually, that's as far as it's gonna go with that wire, which is pretty much center, so that's good. Still shows I got uh, fully charged, so that's good. We'll tighten them back up. So now we'll get some wire and we'll wire that up. I don't know why they don't give me longer wire. Why the hell would they do that? That wouldn't make sense. So this is ground back here, and this is positive over here, maybe. So positive is gonna have to be longer, and ground can be shorter. This side's a 36 volt in, so we'll strip this down, we'll twist tie this together, and then we might even solder it, maybe. Leave a comment down below if you think I soldered this or not. Now, if you're hooking up 12 volt accessories in your golf cart, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to buy a step down module, just so you know, in case you wanna know, that's what you're supposed to do. I figured I'd let you know that right now. I'm trying to figure out a way to do this where it looks neat and tidy, and I'm just not, seeing one in my future at all here. It's just kind of irritating me actually. Like, there's all sorts of stuff I can do, but I'm thinking about just sticking to a top of battery because what the hell is the difference? That's why people buy this stuff called two-way tape, is it not? So we'll stick this down right here. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna go anywhere. And now we can run this wire over to positive and we need a negative, we do. And then this will be the 12 volt LT. So we need a piece of black negative wire. What's the chance of finding one of them? Pretty good. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on. Just give me one piece of black. 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 Everything but black. Black. Well, no black. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect. So this one's going to go this way to there. So we cut her about there. Get herself a nice little doodad. Slide it on there. Give her the big one, too. There we go. Take off the ground again. Can you see? Probably not. Can you see now? Probably. So we'll stick this on the ground like so. Then we gotta run this one over to here, which is about that much should work. Good. Run it. Careful. Come on, get on there, you son of a. Of course, you're not quite big enough. Why would you be? Careful. Oh, that is so frustrating when it's not quite big enough. Tighten her up. Good. Now we'll get my voltmeter and we'll check it. This is just my opinion. Always check it with your voltmeter to make sure you have 12 volt. So when you hook it up, you don't fry all your 12 volt in case we got a dud, if you know what I'm saying. So we want ground 
and we want positive 12.3 volts we're rocking and this should be 36 volts probably closer to 40 maybe yep 39 volts so there you go we got our working jim so now that that's working we can take all these 12 volt accessories we'll put the grounds together now this one i got here is good for 25 amps you can get them depending on how much money you want to spend you can get them more than 25 amps but we only need 25 amps for what we're doing so that's all i got and i don't have any connections i'm gonna have to buy some plugs we'll have to rewire this later because i like to have some plugs so i can unplug this stuff and plug it in and whatever else i want to do with it you know what i'm saying probably probably not let's get that a little melty melty take the two hot trim them back twist them together oh the radio come back on it scared the shit out of me like, what the hell is that noise so we know that worked you know what else would be nice to put a little kill switch on this stuff too so we don't have any drain but there we go there's our 12 volt doodad and how come that looks like such a mess oh i hate messes jim but there's no way around it i'm gonna zip tie this over here maybe yeah we'll do a little zip tie action but you have one right here you see that it keeps spares in the cart there hey that looks like shit, but it works freaking right it works all right so now instead of drawing from one battery for all the 12 volt you're drawing from three so there you go that's how that works i end up mounting my charger that i got off ebay yeah it's not an actual charger charger but it works good off of ebay and i hard mounted it in there so it stays in there and i just made it so you lift up the trunk lid pull the wiring out plug it in plug it in and she charges so i did that because that way you're not dragging it around getting it broken maybe right that's what i think just keep it inside the cart that way it's there at all freaking times as long as the cart doesn't get wet never really thought about that one did i well if it's gonna get wet we'll take it out how's that sound good perfect why wouldn't we there we go got this battery now we'll go put that in decent and see if it starts better because it wasn't starting very good and we gotta figure out why so the battery on decent i actually fired it right up today so i don't know maybe it was just weak but we're gonna still change it to one of the gooder batteries that's why it's it's ready to rock and roll eh so let's do that right now and that way i'll be happy because i like being happy dude i just have a few just a few positives on this this card not too many just a couple oh no how am i gonna hook that up Jill? we'll figure it out Holy positives, negatives, and doodads, and whatnots. Thing nuts, wobber knobbers. All right, there we go. Now we can lift this big bitch out of here. Let me grab this little bitch, take it in here, and figure out a way to mount everything. I'm thinking this is gonna have to come off. So we'll take off this doodad, and we'll look for a nut that fits on here. And then we can just connect everything to it. Get that down on there. Tighten her up with the wrong size. Tighten her up on here. That's a 10. Question is, is it 7 16 Sure is. So we're gonna use a 7 16 on this one and tighten the hell right out of it. There we go, that's nice and tight. Now we need a nut that fits to hold all my grounds. Nothing like a good piggyback. And there it is. Yeah, that's it. She's beat the shit to hell. So we'll put that on there like that. Put that on there like that. We'll put all these on here like this. We'll put that on there like that. And then we'll put, where the f put it? Put that on here like this. It's all in the way you hold your tongue when it comes to this many grounds. So that's good, that's good, that's good. So I'll swing it up this way. And then it should all go. There we go. Okay, so that's on. So now we need probably a 10 mil for that. So we'll tighten all the grounds up because grounds are more important than anything else. Always do the ground first. That's what I say. I don't give a shit what anybody tells you. Now we can power it up with positive and none of them are going to fit. So we're going to take that off and put the other one on. Perfect. Just beat the shit out of it I did. Oh well, hey, it happens. Tighten this up. Should take about an hour, especially with this big bastard. Start calling me Mr. Adjustable fucking Wrench. More work than expected, especially on a hot day like today. So there we go that's done so now we can put this up here connect positive to it connect positive to the cart connect positive to it positive to that connect positive to this and throw the wing nut on there and we'll see what happens check the voltage 12.7 volts decent tighten that up and there we go so now that's done we'll try it out and see what we got with this battery 
we'll take the other battery back and we'll hook it up to my off-grid system. See if we can't put a charge into it. I just lost all the nuts, didn't I? Yeah. There they are. Thank God we found them in a heartbeat. <laughs> wrench, wrench. This, that, and yeah. All right. Let's see if she turns over any better. She's a little sluggish before. Oh. 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 Look over here, would you? Move the old two-stroke oil. Move them dog doodads. Put this over here, like so. We want to go this way. We want to take these battery terminal connectors. And we want to go negative to negative. Oh, it's going to reach, too. Undo this one. Slap it on there. Tighten her up. This is a 400-watt solar panel, 12-volt solar panel, if you're wondering what I've got going on here. And uh, it just runs like moon rays and things like that. And that humming you're hearing is actually the voltage. It's, it's charged up enough where it's dumping the voltage. Kind of a freaking waste, eh? Oh well, it always can't be perfect. If you hear it stop humming, that means it's starting to charge this battery. Nope, see that battery is dead as you think. Because if it was dead, it would just automatically start, take all the power and throw into this battery. So it's pretty good. Now we got four, four batteries on this system again that aren't worth a dick. All these batteries are pretty much wore out. So there we go. We're making 19 amps. 13.2 volts, 270 watts. Those panels are making right now. Hey, okay. it's just a little 12 volt system. Making 240 volt, or watts, sorry. 250 watts, 18 amps, 13.8 volts, 585 milliamp hours. There you go, that's not bad. But anyways, this was just a little kind of a, a battery, electrical, 12 voltage, DC kind of day. We did a DC video. But hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm gonna get out the John Deere and Cut the back grass. My grass is looking dicked. I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to water that today. Hopefully you're having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. Love you all. And until next time. You know what to do for now.